What's up everyone and welcome to the next section. This will be on importing images into our project. So we'll just import the images that we added to that images folder and we'll work on displaying them within our project itself. Okay, so let's head on over to the code. This is what it looks like. We've just got index.js package.json. This is what our project looks like. It's just my games page, really simple right now. Okay, so before we go any further, we need to make sure we have all the images we want. I think I actually left one image out. Yeah, I did. That was the logo. So let me just grab that now. Okay, um, actually, I believe this is in downloads for me. Um, I do want this logo um, in my project, so I'm actually just going to copy that and bring it over to. Okay, cool stuff. So now we've got my four images. These are going to be used to display the three games and then obviously the logo up top. So we'll now need to add the library that will help us to import and use images in our project. So let's just kill this command right now. We're going to, whoops, I'm not sure why that came up. Um, we're going to just uh, clear that off and we're going to install next images library. So this will be an npm install dash dash save next dash images. So I should say actually, and some of you may be experiencing a bunch of problems where if you try to install something, it comes up with a bunch of errors here. Likely that's because you don't have administrative privileges. So if you're using Windows, again, run the command prompt or PowerShell as an administrator. That's one of the options you can do whenever you go to open it, you can right click and run as an administrator. Or if you're using Mac or Linux, then you can simply add sudo to the beginning of any of your commands and that should allow you all the necessary permissions. Okay, so this will install that library. Um, I think we should see some changes if we go to package.json. Yeah, we get next images there. And we do need this library to be able to display images in our projects. All right, so before we can use our images, there's gonna be one more step we need to take. That is going to be adding our next.config.js file and specifying that we're using the images, um, this next images library. So we're going to go ahead and create a new file here. Let's give this a save. That was the command shift save, by the way, or you can just save as. And this is just going to go under the project root. Okay. This is going to be our next.config.js file. So in here, we're going to um, say that we're requiring the next images library. So we're going to do constant with images. This is going to be equal to require next dash images like so. So that's basically that library we just installed. And then we'll do module.exports. It's going to be equal to with images. And then that should be just that uh, empty dictionary there. So let's just do that. Okay. So this should be good to go. Um, I think this shouldn't give us errors. If, it, if we do get any errors, it's not working, then we'll need to eliminate those curly braces. Otherwise it should be fine. So then probably what we'll want to do in order to gain easy access to our images is just add them as imports up top. So this is where we need to know exactly where we've saved everything in our project and where it is relative to our index.js file. So index.js is here in pages, but our images is up a directory into images and then we get access to these ones here. So the way in which we import them is first saying import and then we'll name a variable. For example, if I want my logo, I might call this my logo image. And then I'm going to say this is not equals. This should be import this from and then the actual location itself. So in this case, I need to go up or from pages. I need to go up a directory. So dot dot slash that will bring me to here. Then I want to go into images slash and then the name of that image. In this case, it's just logo.png. So you do want to make sure that you have the correct extension PNG or JPEG. And in fact, we might as well do the others right now. Okay, so we've got a logo image. Um, I've called that one dragon image. Then oasis image. Oasis and finally river image. Okay, and then of course we'll want to import the respective images. So in this case, uh, it's just dragon image, then oasis image, and finally river image. Okay, good stuff. So we'll give that a save. And now let's just display the logo image for now. So within our header here, um, or rather within this div, not within the header, we're going to create another div, but this is actually going to be a, of type header. So header acts very much like a regular div. Um, in fact, it acts exactly the same as a regular div. It just communicates intent a little clearer. So this is just a div that's going at the top of my page called header. 
Okay, so within this, I'm going to um, put my logo, but we know that logo is kind of got a white background, so let's just take a quick look at it. So this logo, it actually says Zenver here, but it's kind of hard to see. In fact, let's display this first, and then I'll change the background color to gray so that we can actually see it. So we want an image this time. Okay, um, we want to first provide a source equal to something. Okay, and then we'll provide an alternative equal to something just in case the image isn't being displayed. And I'm going to give this actually an ID as well, because I'll likely need to modify some of the aspects. So this is just going to be my logo image here. Okay, so the source is going to be one of these, specifically this one. Um, so I figure it's probably best just to add the strings up top and then just simply um, add them in here like this. Okay, so then rather than a string, we can simply just put in our logo image variable. We'll convert it to the string and it will use that as the source. The alternative image can just be the logo. Um, or not alternative image, the alternative text. The ID logo image for now, that is fine. So let's give this a save and let's get this guy up and running. So let's go to terminal, npm run dev again, because we're just running the development version. And so let's go on back to localhost. Okay, so check that out. So we've got our image displayed very clearly. In fact, a little too clearly because it's quite massive. Okay, so we'll obviously need to make it a bit smaller. And we want to just up top with that gray header background. So I figure we might as well add the styles right now. Um, it won't take very long at all. So let's add that style right now. It's going to be style JSX. Okay, and then we'll close off that style tag. We'll need to put these in curly braces. And we'll need these kind of weird slanted quotes as well. Remember, regular quotes might cause you some problems. Okay, so because we put our header within a header tag rather than a div tag, it's nice that we can actually just call upon our header like so. And we can um, do what we want here. So I'm going to set the background color to be equal to gray. And I'll set the height equal to, I think, 80 pixels should do it. And I want to center the image within it. So if I actually just do a text align center, that will center the image um, horizontally. So let's take a look at the image itself. We're going to get it by its ID. So hashtag logo image like so. For this, we're actually just going to add a height. Uh, maybe we'll try 60 pixels. That way it won't take up the full height of this. And the width will also adjust to that height as well. Try to maintain the same aspect ratio. So if we give this a save now, let's see if we get those nice changes being made. Okay, so check that out. That looks a lot better. Um, we probably want to bring it away from the top a little bit. So I'm actually just going to add a bit of padding to header. 10 pixels should do. Okay, so that just brings it down a bit. But now we have a bit too much space on the bottom, so maybe let's try 60 pixels. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, we've got this logo centered. You can see it very clearly. We've got that gray bar up top. My games page obviously needs to be centered as well, so let, we might as well just do that now. Um, H1, oops, not like that. We just want H1 like that. And we're just going to do text align center. Okay, and that should just bring it to the center of the page. All right, good stuff. So that is how you add images to your project. So we learned how to install that images or next images library. We learned how to import images here. We had to again create that next.config file and add the requirements. And then we just kind of styled our page up a bit and displayed our logo in this header bar up top. Okay, so the next goal is going to be to work on those three boxes that we saw at the bottom that contain the game images and then the name and the description respectively. And I think we should be able to get that all done in the next section, um, but I don't want to run it too long. So if we need to, we can break it into two parts. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.